sitting here with Lisa. Uh, we've been having a, a good conversation about Lisa's background. And, you know, one of the things I, I just wanted to talk to really quickly is uh, we're coming out of the hurricane season, and you right. were telling me that, that you were impacted by that. Right. W would you mind sharing a little bit about that and what that's been like coming out of there? Because I know we get a lot of people that just, they don't know really what it's like, yeah. you know, to be there. I was actually in Lubbock working on contract when the storm hit. Um, I could see how big the storm was going to be. I knew what Storm Smaller had done to Houston. And so I kind of was foreseeing what was coming. Yeah. Um, I couldn't get home, but I knew that it was going to be bad. One of our homes did flood. It's actually the home that I stay in when I go home. Um, so we went home, or I, I was able to go home over Labor Day weekend and work on trying to get the house gutted. Um, but it's just, it's absolutely heartbreaking. Yeah. You drive around and everything is devastated and Houston is strong and Houston will rebuild. Yeah. And a lot of the reason that Houston has done so well is because we don't wait for somebody else to come save us. We do appreciate any help that does come, yeah. but we just pitch in and we get it done and we do what needs to be done. There were neighbors driving around handing out hot meals out of their cars. People would just drive up, do you need help? Yes, I need help. We'll be okay and we'll survive, but it's gonna take a long time emotionally and mentally yeah. for Houston to heal. I can imagine, you know, being a first responder myself, yeah. I can imagine the mental fortitude that you have from your career mm -hmm. really plays a vital role in that, right? Not yeah. just for you, but I imagine your neighbors too leaning yeah. on that, right? Yes. Um, I definitely have one of those, I see a situation, okay, this is not good, we're gonna take a deep breath and we're just gonna do what needs to be done. Yeah. And you don't really think about it until later. I didn't really respond emotionally to and mentally to it until I was on my way back to my assignment in Lubbock when I couldn't do anything anymore and it was like it was all starting to sink in. Oh. But It's incredible. The resilience of Texas is, yeah. I think it has set the tone for our country, yeah. from a unity standpoint, from a love standpoint, mm -hmm. it, it's amazing. Well, well, thank you yeah. for sharing that. You've been a, a, a nurse for how long? I've been a nurse since May of 2012. Um, I work uh, med search. Okay, fantastic. So, and how long have you been a traveler? I have been traveling since June of last year. I've actually only worked with Lux Care. Yeah. So, but I see the stories of other people who work with other, other agencies and I'm not necessarily looking for another agency, so because um, I see the, the things that they have to deal with, and I'm like, I have one recruiter. I talked to my one recruiter, yeah. and I've really not ever had problems oh, to deal awesome. with. So. And who's your recruiter? Alicia. <laughs> what is it about working with Alicia that makes you say, like you said, I haven't done any other assignments with FlexCare. I'm not, I'm not planning on going anywhere else. Yeah. What is it about her that makes it feel like home? Um, when I started talking to Alicia, um, I'd been out of work for a while and trying to get a job in a regular hospital, especially in Houston, yeah. it can take months. I'm a single mom. I didn't have months. Um, and just on a whim, I was like, you know, I've always wanted to travel nurse. Yeah. My oldest one is graduating from uh, from high school. My youngest one is wanting to do online school and at the time was going to travel with me. Why not? So yeah. I did a little bit of research and I found FlexCare was at the top of two several lists. There were then one or two at the top of the list. And I was like, all right, let's go with them. And she called me back within, I think it was 20 minutes of <laughs> submitting <laughs> my survey. It just so happened Great. to be my daughter's prom night. Aww. And so between taking pictures of prom, she was like, look, I want to help you get this done, but I know it's prom night, so you just, when you're available, let me know. And so between shooting pictures of prom night, I was Aww. texting and talking to Alicia, and I think it was within four or five days I had a contract. Within two weeks, I was working. Wow. And she just, she was there every step of the way. This is what we need to do. This is how we need to do it. Because I had no idea what to do as far as travel nursing. Oh, wow. She was like, do you have any questions for me? I was like, I don't even know enough to ask you, to tell you if I have questions for you. Like, wow. this is all brand new. And so she's just, 
she's watched me way through me, watched me through every step. Yeah. If I was like, hey, there's an issue here, no problem, I got it. Go to this place, have this done, or I'm like, hey, I'm here. They're saying they don't have it. Okay, I'm on it. Mm -hmm. Give me a few minutes. I mean, she's just handled every detail. That's fantastic. So, you know, it's a little behind the scenes glimpse here, but back in our offices, there is probably no one else that mentors more recruiters in our office than her. Yeah. That's in addition to her normal workload, her life. Uh, she makes it a point to come alongside anybody and, and offer yeah. that same help. I mean, and I say that so, you know, it really is her entire being. You yeah. know, it's not just because she's working with you. It's it's fantastic to be alongside greatness like that yeah. and, and someone that just really cares. You yeah. Know? You've been in Texas, and where else? Um, I only do assignments in Texas. Okay, great. It's a big enough state. Exactly. <laughs> Texas is big enough. Um, so I actually have been, I've had two, uh, only been at two different hospitals because I've had extensions on my contracts. Okay. But the first hospital was in um, Southeast Houston. Okay. And I was there for about nine months, and then I was off for about a month, and I ended up in Lubbock. <laughs> and for people that don't know, that's like 500 miles from Houston. <laughs> and I kept telling my recruiter, can we kind of stay a little bit close to Houston? There's a yeah. lot close to Houston. Well, I ended up in Lubbock, but that's okay. That's I guess it's another thing is you have to be flexible. Yeah. And, you know, your recruiters will do the best they can for you. And they'll look out for you and make sure they don't send you to a hospital that has really bad reputations and things like that. And yeah. Is there anything specific to being in med surge as a traveler that you would also say like, hey, this is my favorite thing about being a med surge nurse, you know, and, and traveling? Med surge varies a lot from med surge unit to med surge unit. Uh, I originally started in a very specific, on a very specific floor uh -huh. in a specialty hospital. So my area of focus was tiny. Which is part of, another part of the reason I wanted to travel because yeah. I I knew that my area of focus was tiny. Um, so traveling as a med surge nurse, once again, it's all just nursing. Yeah. But you do get to learn and see a lot of new things. And if you haven't done something before, or you know you've never dealt with something before, just tell them, hey, I've never done this. Can you show me how to do it? You know, I know the concepts, but I've never actually done it. Yeah. Sure, no problem. And it was, it's no big deal. If you don't know how to do something, just tell them, hey, I've never had this before. That's great. Because there are nurses that don't travel. That, you know, they start on new to a unit or they go to a different unit because they're yeah. floated. And they're like, I've never dealt with this before. Somebody show me how to do yeah. this. So it's the same thing. Everybody starts at the same spot, right? right. At some point. Right. Like, what are the yeah. two best pieces of advice you could give to new travelers or those considering? Um, Probably we know how to do our job, and so when you walk in and they say, guess what, you've got three days, one day to learn the computer, one day work on the floor with another nurse, yeah. third day you're on your own, don't panic. It's yeah. nursing is nursing everywhere you go. As we talked about, we're in Vegas. Yes. The land of impersonation. Yes. So I like to start it off by saying, pick a card, any card. Okay. Go ahead and read it, and then... If you wouldn't mind, hold it up for the camera so that oh. they can... Oh, yay, I pulled one I can do. And would you like sunglasses for this? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right, and then when you're ready... Oh, do we hold it up? Did the camera right, get to on. see? So we are talking Buzz Lightyear, Toy Story, probably one of the most famous quotes of all animation movies. Yes. So with everything you've got, let's hear your best Buzz Lightyear. To infinity and beyond! That's fantastic. Thank you very much for this. Thank, Thank you, you for everything you do. And again, our prayers and hearts are, are going out with you guys there in Texas. Um, let's stay in touch. Let's definitely okay. see what we can do to help you and your fiance. All right. Thank All right. you so much.